Hi everybody, welcome to Mark Bayeski YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about alcohol. <laughs> okay, so I just got a message this morning uh, with regards to alcohol and um, the question was, is alcohol um, toxic? Is it uh, dangerous? And can it be managed? And, uh, you know, are we responsible to be able to drink it in, um, you know, a way that yeah, does, doesn't affect our daily life, doesn't affect our family, and most of all, doesn't affect our mind, body, and spirit. The answer to that, in my humble opinion, is absolutely not. There, There is no way on God's earth that this alcohol is manageable for most people at all. Um, some people talk about, oh, I only have one glass or two glasses and they think it's okay. And uh, maybe it is to them, and maybe they feel it's okay to them. But to me, uh, what I see is something completely different. So first of all, do I drink? Every now and again, I'll have a beer, and I'll taste it, drink two mouthfuls, and think, what have I done that for? And that's the programming. That's how bad and powerful and strong and addictive the programming is. So alcohol, uh, even if I don't even like it, I don't even actually like it, but I'm still drawn to it every now and again. Oh yeah, go on then, I'll have, I'll have a bit of a lager. And then I go, what did I just taste that for? And it's it, for me, it's repulsive, just like any alcoholic drink now. I used to drink when I was younger all the time, and uh, I went through terrible um, pain and suffering with alcohol. Terrible pain and suffering. And I'm gonna give you some um, some feedback on clients as well who have been through this. Now, I've got um, friends who are who were clients 20 years ago, and even even till this moment now, I see their suffering. Even though they've been free from alcohol for five years, they, they count normally. Normally, they count the days rather than um, the the years when they're in AA. Um, you know, so you can feel it. It's heartbreaking. You can feel it. You can feel the, um, there's a, almost, the way I, I consider it, or the way I see it, it's, um, I call it the walnut effect, okay? And um, what does that mean? Have you ever cracked a walnut? Yeah. So when you crack a walnut, you, you, you can see the brain, right? Because it looks like a brain. And there's certain things that we do in our life that we, um, we just get so close to, um, a point where you can't go back and you, you crack the walnut and there's no putting it back. It's done, it's exposed and it's there forever. And alcohol is probably one of those most powerful um, poisons, toxins that cause that. So you can get it with um, marijuana, skunk and all of that stuff. And you can get it with... Um, uh, processed foods, sugars, you can get it with quite a lot of stuff. You can get it with, uh, even with ayahuasca, you can get it with many different forms of um, uh, strong hallucin hallucinogenics. Um, and it's how I, how I describe it as a healer is this. So w what I used to do when people came to me who were drinking or who were doing something excessive, there comes a point that something just breaks okay something just breaks you can't go beyond that now it's too late so my field of vision was on a different level it was on energy and energy manifests in certain places in the body which exposes itself to my eyes and my hands and it's a magnetic pull and then i measure it by what i feel um the maybe danger could be, but I wouldn't tell the client, I would just give them the information in a loving way. So I would say, look, whatever you're doing right now, if you continue doing it for A, B, C, X, Y, Z, so it might be, if, if, you, if you continue doing this up until August um, and then you stop, then there's a chance that everything's gonna be fine. If you continue doing it past August, then there's a point where there's no return. So it could be that you you end up in bed for a while, you end up in a psychiatric uh, unit, the yeah, hospital, um, I don't know, somewhere where you have this, um, this 
break down, but it's the walnut effect. You've cracked it and there ain't putting it back. There's no way you can put it back. And alcohol was number one on that list. Um, there's there's many things that you can you can um, uh, break. That that that's heartbreak is another. So if you're with somebody that continuously beats you, either physically, mentally, and emotionally, there's a point where you just break down. You can run a business, and if that business is toxic, people are in there are toxic. If it's if it's not doing, if it's dead, and you're just constantly trying and trying and trying, eventually you'll break down. So it's a point of energy that your physical body is manifesting uh, that the, the emotional manifest the physical to burst so you know it's kind of like okay now now we can see this energy pouring out of them through tears uh, going crazy losing the plot unbalanced um, and uh, yeah doing crazy things and this person isn't isn't the isn't in control of, of themselves anymore. So th that's that's how I see it. Alcohol was the number one, okay? So looking back a few months ago, I was sat with a dear friend who uh, many years ago stopped drinking alcohol. And when, when, I'm, sit when I'm sat with this person, um, it, it's, it's really heartbreaking because the underlying energy is always there. It's like um, somebody who doesn't wash themselves under their armpits and you, they're a lovely person, but they, they just forgot to wash under their arms and you can get this smell and it's like, wow, that's really strong. Well, as a healer, I can get that same smell in a way of energy and how they feel. So they never, want, once you've broken the shell, it, it, you know it, you can feel it. And it, it's, it's very, very challenging for somebody who um, has broken that shell because they're constantly uh, looking at the days and, and that is a way of trying to make themselves feel better so that they don't turn to the alcohol again, but the alcohol's there. And, and, and look, if you want to go really deep dive, and we can do this now, okay? The deep dive is far more than what I've been saying to you, okay? Most people will talk like this on a level of, well, alcohol, uh, I mean, if you just look at it this way, you scratch your head and think, how come alcohol is, is, it, is, still, illegal, is still illegal with the government? Oh, you know, why is that? What, what? Well, there's a lot of return and, and you know, it, it's, it's not that bad. No, no, it's bad. It's bad. Don't tell me it's not bad. There's plenty of peer-reviewed um, um, documentation that says that that drinking alcohol is poison. It's pure poison to your body, right? There's plenty of them. But but oh, that's okay. We won't talk about that because you think well, maybe partly for the revenue, and that's what people will talk about. It's the revenue. They make lots of money on taxes. Um, there may be another um, conversation where people say, well, the government likes to uh, give, let people drink it because it makes them feel better. Okay, so they're not, they don't feel like they're being stuffed up the backside by the bully that controls this world, right? By, by, by the way of, well, really, it's, it's, it's a hard world to live in. So give them the alcohol and it takes that away so they don't think about it. So it kind of dumbs people down, really right? Okay, no, it's not that. It's none of those things. It's a lot more sinister. And it's all to do with light and dark. It's all to do that the, the real truth behind alcohol is something so frightening, it's unreal. And the frightening part to me is that people don't see it. They just don't see it. And they don't realize that the fact that they they lose family members because they cause so much suffering with all the family, they cause so much suffering with themselves, they don't realize what that suffering is. As a healer, we look beyond the beyond. We don't see what you're seeing. We see beyond that. We look for the root cause. We look for what's going on. And what you see is okay this person's drinking and he's sick 
uh, this person's drinking and he's feeding an addiction. Okay, that's one part of it, but it's not the real cause of why alcohol is always protected by a government, okay? Okay, it's protected because you'll say, oh, well, it's it's free will. We, we should have the right to drink it. Yeah, you should. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just telling you, um, you know, because normally you have to shoot the messenger, right? So you can shoot me as much as you want uh, under here. It's fine. I don't mind. This is my truth and it's what I know. So, yeah, going back to um, being a full-time healer, uh, I would say on average... Every week I'd get three or four people come to me who were addicted to alcohol. What I found very quickly is that I wasn't dealing with uh, one person. I was dealing with multiple uh, energies within that one person, which meant that that person... Th there's a reason why I say I don't want to drink a uh, spirit because there's enough with one spirit inside me. And, the, and there's a reason why they call it spirit because it is uh, an opening, uh, alcohol is an opening to allow other spirit inside. And that could be spirit trapped in between two worlds. It could be entity. It could be really heavy, dark and demonic energy. And um, that's why you find that people, when they drink, you look at them and it's not the same person. Something switches, something happens and you can't, you can't talk to them. They'll kill, they'll, they'll, they'll beat somebody to death. They'll do something and say something so terrible because something has taken over them. And it, it's, it's partly the alcohol, but it's also partly that you open yourself up to what I believe is very, very heavy and demonic attachment energy in so many ways. So you'll feed somebody who's trapped in between two worlds that they're no longer gone home and they're no longer in this world, but they're in between two worlds and they want to feed their addiction. So you will find a lot of this trapped energy in pubs in places where you know there's a lot of alcohol being drunk because they find themselves in them places to feed that very energy that they want again there is um a very dark side to this and that is that the energies of attachments which are uh, cunning and manipulating uh, they reside in alcoholics and they stay there uh, sometimes for all their life and it's very hard to clear them away if you don't know what you're doing. And you can go into Mother Nature and you can go for walks and you can, can go into the sea. But I think it takes a lot more than that to clear those attachments if you are a, a big drinker. If you drink just every now and again, you will get attachments and sometimes they will come and they will go and sometimes they will stay depending on how they can manipulate you and how strong or weak you may be. Weak meaning that they can influence you with every thought that you have. So they basically uh, send thoughts into your head all the time and that is normally destructive thoughts and the reason why is the more destructive you become the more you will turn to alcohol so they know how to manipulate so I've been around people and that's why I don't go to pubs I don't go out to wine bars I don't go to nightclubs anymore because I know that I'm not dealing with that human being anymore I'm dealing with entity and people are attached with many entities in these places so this will never be talked about because unfortunately people don't understand it. And secondly, um, the, the people who run this world, they will do their best to stop silence anybody from knowing the real truth. And this is the real truth. And that's why I'm silenced all the time. And there's quite a few of us who talk like this and try and share this with the world, but they're silenced too. So, um, yeah, going back to uh, people who'd come and they, they were having trouble with uh, their life and they turned to alcohol. It's a process of, of healing uh, the, the root cause at the same time as, as giving light inside the body. And that light is, let's say, a high frequency energy. It's like being plugged into the electric mains and, 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 and glowing to be able to clear away the frost and that frost is is a negative energy. So you're, you're burning it all away. You're just, you know, you're, you're, you're melting all of that crap away. And that crap is attached to a lot of attachments. So it's kind of like you're blasting light to clear the darkness away. And you can work on a client 
and it might be like one healing session and then better and it could be many many healing sessions and sometimes it's very very challenging because your client will go away and say i'm fixed and then they'll come back six weeks later eight weeks later and they're back to um having attachments again and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that they fell they fell flat again and the reason why is because they weren't willing to do the work and the work is take care of yourself clean yourself eat healthy go for walks do beautiful things create be joyful focus on the right things um make sure your friendships are lovely clear your negative energy around you um daily weekly clear your room of negative energy with sage um, the friends that you have, make sure you're not you're not in contact with um, the same kind of negative energy with friends. Don't be around people who drink. And um, work on yourself and um, do self healing. Um, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Self healing is a beautiful thing. So all of that's too much for most people. They don't want that. They just want to be fixed, and that's it. So they'd come back again and I know exactly what they, they, they fell again. They fell. I have fallen. Yeah, I'm weak. Okay, let's try again. And there was maybe 30% out of 100 that healed. The rest just continued and dug their own grave. And nobody ever died on my watch, but I could clearly see that they were fighting against demonic energy that kept coming back. Because if you go back to the alcohol, guess what? Hey, you're inviting them back in again. You're opening a doorway that, and trust me when I say this, around you, there's a lot of negative energy. There's a lot of entity everywhere. Just like there's a lot of love and a lot of healing. There's a lot of balance. There's a lot of angelic, whatever you want to call it. You can call them angels. You can call them guardian angels. You can call it the spirit world. There's a lot of love. So it's up to you what you vibrate on. So that's the free will. It's your choice. Nobody else's. Don't blame anybody. And if you do blame anybody, then guess what? You're never going to fix yourself. So we talk about alcohol as being, oh, it's okay. And you've got to ask yourself, why is alcohol pushed? Why is it always talked about? Why is it always promoted? Why is it that the government's always pushing it and, and making it <clears throat> available all the time? Never an issue with alcohol, it's everywhere. I'll tell you why. Because those that control this world, the ones in the shadows that you don't know, have never heard of, they know for a fact that if they can get alcohol into people's bodies, that it will generate more of a bad energy. It will generate attachment, which then creates more of this negative energy that actually feeds these people who have created this to begin with. So, do I believe that you can be a, a drinker and you can be okay? Yeah, yeah, you can be okay. Yeah, fine. You can get go through life and just have the odd drink every now and again. Sure. But there is, and there always will be, a moment that it could be that you become so, so open to a negative entity that it can literally change your life like parasites. It's the same as parasites. We have parasites in our body that convince us that we need to eat. We have parasites in our body that convince us that we need to drink. Uh, we have parasites in our body that convince us that we need sugar. We have parasites in our body that tells us to drive fast and don't worry. And we have parasites that send us crazy. So... We have to understand that the body is is basically a vessel and we can allow, you know, things inside our body, whether it be um, living creatures like parasites or the parasites of, of the other worlds, which are the demonic energies, the entities, they do exist. And that's why we do do crazy things when we drink alcohol or take drugs or um, we open ourselves up terribly when we have... Um, you know, white coat uh, men signing pieces of paper so we can go to a, uh, a shop and uh, pop some pills and um, we go a little bit crazy. I can give you many, many stories on uh, alcohol and on drugs, whether it's uh, recreational drugs or whether it's drugs from the big harmer. 
and I can tell you stories that will um, scare you to death, uh, absolutely scare you to death, um, because of the the fear that can happen when asleep or when you wake up in the middle of the night and you realize something's by your side or something's in your room and it's so f so real that you believe it's not real, but it is actually real. There are entities that are by your side and manipulating you and using you while you are on these, these drugs. And they will uh, persuade and manipulate you by way of energy. See, what this is, is an energy feed. It's an energy feed. And an energy feed is that you imagine that you feed off love or you feed off light. Uh, okay, so you need the light, you need the sun to stay alive, you need love to, to feel good. Well, entity feeds off fear, okay? That's what entity feeds off. So when you're in fear and in shock, you create this energy and it's very powerful and you feed these entities and uh, these negative people in this world that are not like you and I. So that just gives you an idea of how uh, I believe uh, alcohol is legal and it will always be legal because of this reason. So once you know this, uh, what are you gonna do? Um, all I know is that I've never met anybody who um, doesn't drink alcohol anymore and said, oh my God, you know, I really, really, I, I've never felt as worse without drinking alcohol. My life's shit, I, I, everything's gone wrong. Never met, but I've met plenty of people who have drunk, who are alcoholics and, and actually their life is an absolute mess. So it, th there's no, there's no, for me, I, like, I'm not drinking. I just don't want it because there's no reason to have it. And if you are needing alcohol, it's probably because you've got a lot of issues that you need to resolve. And rather than resolve the issue, just have a drink and then you'll forget about it. But after that, it's gonna be 10 times worse. So, mm, food for thought. I'm wishing you all a lovely day. Uh, hey, maybe one person might uh, say, you know what, I'm done with this alcohol. I'm, I'm done with it because I don't want to be um, controlled and manipulated by any other force in this world. But you know what, guys? There's very few people in this world that will be able to talk about this in the way that I do because most people have no clue about this and it's too much and it's like, oh, this is ridiculous because I can't see it. But it is real, guys. I'm a healer and I've healed thousands of people and I know this exists and I know it's real. An entity loves you drinking alcohol. So just be aware of that. Have a great day. Love you all.